The following program is brought to you by Kevin Shorey Ministries and our family of friends. That's one of my favorite songs, Christopher Cross, Ride the Wind. It's Ride the Wind Day. Did you know that? I don't know what that means exactly. I guess, you know, fall's coming up. Go fly a kite, get on a sailboat, something. But I'm just enjoying one of my few fans I have. Thank you. Amazing. Entertainment capital of the world, it's the Kevin Shorey Show. Coming to you from the world famous Branson Mill in Branson, Missouri. Today, Kevin's special guest, Pastor Dale and Jeannie Daly. And now, here's your host, Kevin Shorey. Welcome to the Kevin Shorey Show. Glad you're here today. You're watching us on television, CTN or KOZL Channel 27. Soon to see us, right, Marshall? Soon yes. to see us, hopefully, on another network coming up by September. Yes. Yes, Lord will and the devil don't hinder. And our family of friends stand by. If you want to watch us live every day, you know you can go to Roku right here on the Roku. WJN, our network on Roku. That's right. We don't say woohoo. We say Roku. Roku. And uh, so you get your Roku box on WGAN, which stands for we got a network. We got a network. And so we do. We have a real actual network. And so uh, get your Roku box. And one way you're helping us by being family of friends is by supporting and getting some of our love gifts or just supporting monthly. We appreciate that. One of our most popular love gifts we haven't talked about in a long time. Yes. If you don't know what it is, there it is, right? Look at all what it does on the back and all the active ingredients. Look at all the different things. Uh, uh, minor aches and... I'm kidding. I'm, they need some for eyeballs. <laughs> for the temporary relief of minor aches and pains and stiffness of muscles, joints, tissues associated with arthritis, rheumatism, inflammation, simple backache, minor athletic injuries, sprains, strains, bumps, bruises, and your children. No, it won't really <laughs> remove them. But it, it does everything else. Neo relief. Yes, right neo there. Relief, Do you yes. see what's all in there? Do you see the well, active ingredients? Well, you actually handed me the other one. You handed me the uh, period relief. There, period, well, there, there we go. <laughs> We have that too. It does the same thing. You know, the cramps and the pains that come with that, that monthly, uh, they call it a friend. It ain't no friend. No. Not to a woman. No. And it's certainly not to a husband. <laughs> So uh, if, if you want that, husband, it's a great anniversary gift. I found the spirit of Mel Tillis come over me. Uh, 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 yeah. Uh, hello. That's <laughs> and awesome. And also protect, actually talking about children, protecting your children yes. is why our friend here came up with this. That's right. That's the device. goes on the back of your phone, dispels the radiation and those microwaves that can cause damage to the tissue and skin and your blood. I've got it on my phone. I just put it on my computer, too, because you'd give me two of them. We've so, yeah, seen come on. pictures of blood being boiled by oh. yourself. Do you ever feel that heat on your cell phone while you're using it? I mean, it is doing something to the tissue. This removes that. We have a before and after. We're watching it right now. <laughs> and it shows the uh, before and after. You'll see it later on television. That's right. Folks in the audience are like... Well, he's crazy, Myrtle. What is he talking about? The magic well, of TV. Anyway, yes. we want Myrtle and everybody else to help support us today. We have a great program today. The dailies are back, and they always come with a great word of encouragement. I know they bless me. Marshall, we have been in ministry. I have been 33. Not you. You ain't even 33. Or I'm not 33. Are you 13? Yes. <laughs> 24. 23? Yes. yes. 23. 24. So 10 years before you were born, mm -hmm. I launched out into ministry. Oh, man, not knowing the great journey God would take me on. But the rest is history, as they say. Yes. I know, and God has been so good, and uh, we have so many that are joining us as our family of friends. A lot of people use the word partner, but I truly are collecting a family of friends, because I want you to be family. Yes. Uh, I was talking to a lady the other day. She didn't get some of the stuff that she had ordered accidentally, and so I said, I'm going to do it. So she calls back. I said, now we're family. You can yell at me <laughs> if you want to, but I'm not going to yell back. Right. But I, I want you to know that I'm doing everything I can. As a matter of fact, I'm going to, I, you know, it's a secret. Yes. Well, by the time this airs, yes. yeah, 
I'm taking it to her door. Oh, I am taking the rest to. I'm going to. Come on. Hello. That's commitment right yes, there. Yes. Hello. <laughs> it's not Publishers Clearinghouse, <laughs> but it's better. Amen. Yes. And so we want to thank and our family of friends. Wait till you see September's gift. But every month you've been getting CDs, DVDs for those that haven't joined as family of friends. Man, join now. Right now we have the print of the promise. This is one of my favorite gifts that we're giving out. And we're sending it to you all free shipping as we do all of our gifts. And uh, we're sending this to you to say thank you every month. And next month, uh, mm, mm. can I say, can I say there's going to be mm, a uh, couple gifts. Okay. How, I'll say that. Okay. It won't be just, there'll be a couple. Yes. September's big, big. We're launching into September. Uh, probably a new network we're going to be on. Come on. Uh, just growing and going for the Lord Jesus Christ. I was telling him in devotions today, when we look back and think how God has blessed us, I get emotional because I saw, I feel still so unworthy and undeserving of why God would call me to do this. But to see where he's brought us in six months, we're now celebrating six months. And in six months, all that have become our family of friends and just at the level we are at six months, I don't know any new ministry of six months that, so I just thank God for his favor and I thank God for you. Let me talk more about this and uh, wipe my eyes while I do and we'll be back and I'm gonna sing a song for you from my new CD. Are you ready? Roll it. <laughs> Genesis, it tells us that God created us in his own image. He took us out of the clay and breathed life into us. Man became wicked and so he had to send a flood, but he gave us a promise that no matter how evil man became, he would find a way to redeem us and that was through the Lord Jesus Christ. That's the gospel message we like to share on our show every day and that is portrayed out of clay, just like the clay God made us with, out of clay, Juanita Harrell, one of our artists here at the Branson Mill, she takes colored glaze and each piece of clay she forms and makes a story. This is Noah's Ark up in the corner, but it's the promise is what she calls it because there's a dove that's the featured in the middle of the mosaic. It's a sign of peace. It's a sign of the Holy Spirit. We want to send you a replica, limited edition of a print of this mosaic. This is the promise by Juanita Harrell. These are numbered, limited edition, sent to you, free shipping. If you'll partner with us today at $33 a month, this is our August love gift. Give today and join with us as we tell people the gospel of the promise. Thank you. I believe that. We have the promise. I believe we got to do what we can. I believe time. Does anybody believe time is short? I believe he's coming soon. That's why I recorded a CD full of songs about the end times and about his soon return. Here's one of my favorites. Come on. Here's a Walter Tremaine Hawkins song. Come on. Going up yonder. Anybody going with me? Come on. Yeah, two or three are. Come on. It may take a couple angels to lift me up, but I'm going. Come on. If you want to know where I'm going, where I'm going, going soon. If anybody asks you where
What a great day. It's going to be a great show. Come on, would you keep putting your hands together for Pastor Dale and Jeannie Daly. Come on now. Welcome to the program. Ride the wind day. I'm going to ride the wind of the spirit That's today. Right. That's right. I'm going on fumes today because I have Hallelujah. to. We came iron, back iron. from a great revival service in Alabama <laughs> and uh, we couldn't make storms we were going through. We couldn't make it all the way. So we stopped uh, about three hours away, got up at five o'clock this morning and rushed over here. And uh, I'm thankful I have a voice. That's right. If Amen. the Lord would come during that song, it wouldn't be bothering me. God got uh, you through the I'm, storms all the way, though. He does that, though, he doesn't did. he? He did. If, if we'll Faithful. just ride with the Holy Spirit, Amen. the wind of the Holy Spirit. I don't know why they invented a holiday called Ride the Wind, but I'm telling you, if we will ride with the Lord, Amen. you know, uh, He will take us to places to soar on wings of eagles. Hallelujah. He'll take us to places that's uncharted territory. Right. As we used to say at Star Trek, who boldly go where no one has gone before. <laughs> one of my favorite shows. But uh, <laughs> because, you know, the Lord. you know, those kind of shows you dream, but there's no bigger dreams, no bigger word than is the word of God Amen. that gets us through. That's right. I know, Miss Jeannie, you've never been through anything. You, you, you've had just a wonderful, healthy life and everything's just been just beautiful, right? Well, it has until... <laughs> I came a con a upon a situation where I ended up in the hospital and was pretty um, in a lot of pain. No, and I've Dale said it. that yeah. I wasn't even recognizable. Mm. I don't remember that point, but all I remember is that God got me through victoriously. Come and on what now. they said that I have, I don't have by the grace of God because I stood on Come the truth on. of his word. They said that you have severe rheumatoid arthritis and this is going to be a long, hard battle the rest of your life. You might as well get used to it now. This is the oh. specialist telling me that. Mm -mm. And uh, that irritated me. Yes, ma'am. And I went out where that wind of the spirit was. Come on. Now. And I said, in the name of Jesus, I don't receive that word. Amen. And that's where I had to connect with the word, which says God went to the cross. Yes. He went for my salvation. And as a little girl, I received that. Where's that? But hanky? I wasn't taught the second part of the scripture. That's Come right. On. I'm feeling that. Preach wind, brother. it. Come on now. But I they don't get me on TV, ever, but I'm waving. Come on. I'm yeah, doing a Pentecostal that wind. Hanky. But I didn't know that growing up. I didn't come out of the Pentecostal. It wasn't until I was in high school when we moved over into that. Right. So I didn't understand the dynamic of it until I was faced with something that God wanted me to know who he truly come is. On now. And through that, yeah. I hung on to him. They put me on severe steroids that they wow. said should have damaged my body frame for the size that I am. This was in hospitals in Des Moines and Colorado. What's, it like? What's the symptoms of this? So this oh, arthritis? Because I, I, I haven't heard even, it. Some, this um, is severe. I, it was very severe. It got to the point that I couldn't even, I mean, this is, we're family, right? I had yes, gone into the restroom. I couldn't even, I, I couldn't do anything. Oh. I knew that we were in Des Moines, Des Moines, Iowa. We had just had a service. We had been ministering with a couple and really coming against some areas that were not of the Lord and trying to help them to understand the danger they were walking into. Yeah. The more we addressed it, the more I was attacked by these symptoms. Whoa. And I said to one of the ladies, I said, you need to get Dale. I need to get to the hospital. Uh, I mean, I couldn't, my hands, all I remember, the pain was so severe and, and, and I've had children, so I understand childbirth. Yeah. But this was a whole different kind of a thing. And from that, they, um, they had given me morphine. They had given me all these high, powerful drugs that I had never taken before. Mm -mm. And they, uh, it made me sick because my body couldn't take it. So they just gave me massive doses of steroids because that's an instant, you know, let's get strong kind of a uh -huh. thing. 
and that and they put me on a drug called methotrexate which is a cancer drug Oh. And from that, you know, they said How you're going to have a, this whole process now. Oh, We're talking it, and years. No, 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 no. Um, it, it really hit me in the end of May and by July 4th in Des Moines from that short period, it had literally it was a blown on attack. Wow. And we were supposed to be in Columbus, Ohio the following Sunday for another service. And I told the people at the hospital, I said, I need to be dismissed. They said, you're not going anywhere. I said, no. no, I need to get out. We have ministry in Columbus, Ohio. Huh. And they said, you're not going anywhere. No. And they said, we're, we're afraid you're going to lose the extremities of your hand. Oh. We want you to see specialists. Wow. Well, and because I, my heart is worship, God has given me a gift, and I know it's truly from him, that's the area that he struck. Yes. And they did. Of course it does. Yes, yes. So from exactly and what the enemy tried to do. Mm -hmm. to your precious mother yeah yeah and and that's that's what he goes after and so from that point he the doctor said if you will promise me that you will go to another doctor hospital whatever I said you know I, I promise but they had given me so many steroids that I felt awesome I mean yeah. I was ready to win the world yeah so you didn't really know the extent of I everything. didn't and how did it all turn around what in the world I that I had people fatal. coming to me I had Pentecostal people coming saying, Jeannie, you need to believe the word. You need to stand on the word. Yeah. I had Baptist folk, good people, love uh, the Lord. Love but, oh, man, you need to get to the doctor. You need, you know, those. I come out of something similar to that. And it's like, boy, you need to get to the doctor. Yeah. So after it was like, what does wisdom say? So wisdom, after we prayed, wisdom said, go to a specialist. So I went to a specialist and the guy was just over the top. And he was the one that was so rude and said what he said, but I needed him to start me on this journey of mm -hmm. seeking after what the word said and knowing that I could stand. Mm -hmm. And I know we don't have time to go into it, but he's the one that told me this. And from that point to lab right before Labor Day, we were supposed to be in Kansas City for ministry, but he wanted me to stay because he wanted to see me one more time. So we stayed, I drove to Sacramento by myself, and Kevin, we lived up in the hills, and we had a 110-foot driveway, and as I backed out, I had David Ingalls playing in my car. All right, I love and the word And the song was, if you can, with God in me, it's possible. That's right. With God in me, I can. Yeah. The word in me is the secret. With God in me, I can. Well, as I get out into our road, I start to cry, and I'm thinking, oh man, my makeup, I can't be crying, I'm going to the doctor. And I replayed that song for an hour and a half and cried the entire way i got there walked in said i'm here to see doctor so and so they said he's on vacation and i said you've got to be kidding i was furious because we had changed our schedule i had come i marched out you know good christian woman i marched out that car <laughs> and i was just and i went to grab the door handle and as i went to grab it i said god i get it i understand with you and me, I can yes. do it. Okay. And that was the, the turning point, oh, knowing. Hallelujah. And I went to my doctor. I'm just a little kind of country doctor. And I said, I want you to take me off these drugs. I'm believing God. And that's nine years later. Wow. Wow. He's Praise my source. Lord. Yes. Oh, it's great. I mean, it brings me back to the scripture we were talking about before the service. Uh, before the show, sir, I just came out of the service. Uh, before the, that we know, I mean, and we're going through them. We know that all things are working together for good yes. to those who love God. We can't yes. see it in the middle of it sometimes. I think uh, the thing of it is, Kevin, that we need to understand, and all of us, we have these uh, kind of up and down times, uh, whether we're pastors, whether we're leaders of ministries, whatever we are, uh, whatever God has called us. But there's down times that we need to come back to ground level and understand God's word that God is for us. Yes. He's for he us. He is for us. We and he'll bring us it. through yes, if sir. we'll just put our trust and our faith in him. Yeah, yeah. All things can work for good. Yes, can sir. Can work. But there's a, there's a covenant relationship that we have to have between us and the Lord as he has with, uh, with himself and us. So uh, Jeannie did. She put her faith totally in God's hand and and uh, she doesn't exaggerate this when she she doesn't remember all of this but by the time that 
she first went into the hospital, she was literally unrecognizable. Her hands were all drawn up, her arms were all drawn up, oh, uh, she couldn't walk. And uh, so when you see the miracle that God brings Come about, on now, that's a miracle you what, right when you there, see the miracle, the and miracle. she's back at the keyboard, she's back playing, Praise God, God is good, Hallelujah. God is for us. Amen. I'm playing at yeah. Jubilee Christian Center in Branson West, we've got to get that in. You're Amen. in Branson, go and visit one of the greatest churches we have in this country, but also in this town. We are blessed and honored to have you guys. Jubilee, I like the name Jubilee, because no matter what it looks like, you're going to get to your Jubilee. Amen. Hallelujah. I mean, Hallelujah. now that you, you've gotten past this, of course, there will be no more troubles, right? You're just smooth sailing now. <laughs> God Riding is for us. That's Hallelujah. right. God is for us. And you know, if God be for you, then who, who can, can be, be against, against you? us? Yes. He's called us, it That's says. Right. He's called us for his only glory and goodness. He's called us to be the hope of glory, it says in the word. He's conformed us in the image of his son, and that's all part of this process that I don't like necessarily, but I love the outcome. I love the fact that Jesus knows what he's doing. Amen. And sometimes it's the hardest thing just to trust him. I, I want you to pray with somebody. I want you to look at the camera and I want you to just pray with somebody right now that, that um, whatever they're going through, they'll just trust the Lord, that he'll bring them through. Uh, Father, I, I thank you, Lord, for the opportunity to not only pray for folks that are here in this wonderful place of Kevin Shorey show but God I I pray for Lord all of us as individuals wherever we might be and that will hear the uh, the the voices that are taking place and see the the recordings of what has taken place today God that the, you'll rec they'll recognize that you are a supernatural God and want to do them good and never to do them harm. I think of yes. uh, of little Simone Biles, Lord, and all she has gone through when mm. when really her her mother wanted her to be a, a, aborted. But God, you mm. had greater plans yes, for her, Lord. just like you do for each one of us. Thank you, and Jesus. Lord, what you're doing in her life, you are willing to do for us if we'll stand in the faith that God you have put within us, and to stand firm in the truth of your word. That if you be for us, who can be against us? Yes, Lord. So Lord, I pray for every individual individual that's here in the auditorium this Thank day you, god that you will move in a supernatural way upon yes. their life and give them hope not only for this day but for eternity and we'll thank you for it in jesus, jesus precious man. name amen. amen kevin may i tag on yeah yeah as i was praying this morning getting ready to come i said lord is there somebody specific you want to speak to and i saw in my spirit this little gal that was packing up boxes yes, she had like a little house a little apartment and she was weeping i want to say to you god hasn't left you mm. he has a plan and if you will trust him he will see you through into miraculous provision thank you Lord. that is the word of god that mm. is not a lie god does not lie he is faithful so be encouraged Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Be encouraged today. God is faithful, and God's word is true. It's yes and amen, and he will come through for you. Wow, what a dynamic duo you guys are. I can't imagine going to one of your church services. It just must be, well, like riding, riding with the wind. Come on. It's jubilee. Yeah, it's jubilee. <laughs> amen. Thank you for your faithfulness. Please come back anytime. Please Thank come you. back again. Please come. Y'all just come and co-host a week. Let's just do a whole week of shows Appreciate and just let that. the Holy Spirit work appreciate you and appreciate we what do you're you. doing Thank and we you. appreciate you all that are making this happen I, if god touched you let us know please uh call us or write us you know our address p.o box 525 reed spring missouri 65737 our number 20944 kevin let us know what god has doing, done for you through this program today and uh one way you can encourage us is to give here's one way to give here's one gift that we'll send back to you for a large donation a large gift many people have i was talking about that today how blessed we are that we've gotten large gifts that some some ministries that just start out would just love to have i'm, I'm so blessed i'm probably just spoiled but uh, spoil me some more uh roll it this amazing solar generator is easy to use portable and affordable keep one in your car for emergencies camping trips or tailgate parties. The included solar panel collects free sunlight and stores extra energy in its lithium batteries. Get one for your house to charge your phone, computers, or run your lights to lower your electric bill. Just a few years ago, a generator like this would cost thousands of dollars. Today, just $599. And the second generator for only $499.
It's 100% tax deductible and your satisfaction guaranteed. Call now at 209-44-KEVIN. We'll include two LED lights, AC charger, USB connectors for your smartphones and iPads, one solar panel, and for a limited time, free shipping. For more information, visit kevinshorey.com or call us at 209-44-KEVIN. Thank you for your continued support. Wow, I am back on my soapbox. Thanks for watching the program today. Weren't the pastors, Dale and Jeannie Daly, just amazing, bringing a great word. Amen. You, you should, you should uh, get live Roku or get on KevinChory.com because the second half was just as good, if not more powerful than the first half. It's great. But uh, we love you today. It's enough to tell you the truth. The truth is what you're going through did not surprise God. What you're going through, God saw and he already knew. And why? Because he's working all things together for our good. For those that love him anyway, everything will work for good. He even says in 2 Timothy in chapter 2, if we die with him, we'll also live with him. So if we just turn everything over to him, if we endure with him, we shall reign with him. But if we deny him, he'll deny us. If we're even faithless, we say, I can't make it anymore. He is faithful to be there for us. God is with us. God is with us. It says even to the end of the age. He's always there. He'll never, never, never leave us. He'll never, never, never forsake us. So would you trust him today? Would you give him your whole life? The key to your victory is surrender. Take all the cares, all the things you're going through and surrender to him. When you have surrender, you have victory. When you surrender to the enemy, you've lost. But when you surrender to God, you have won it all. If you will endure with him, you will rule and reign with him. That's why we do our program. That's why we're thankful for support. But even more, we're thankful to hear from those who are being blessed and touched and are turning their lives over to the Lord Jesus Christ. Because we believe it, because we say it every day. Tomorrow's going to be a fun day with little Lee and uh, Josh Clark. But remember, Jesus is the answer for the world today. Come on, give him praise. The world-famous Branson Mill at 3300 North Gretna Road, where art meets entertainment. Featuring the corner store studio, friendly staff, hundreds of shops, demonstrations, crafts, snacks, classes, artwork, fun for all ages, the Treehouse Cafe. All under one roof at the world-famous Branson Mill, where art meets entertainment. The preceding program was brought to you by Kevin Shorey Ministries and our family of friends.